Okay, the last method we're going to talk about for solving quadratic equations is using the tried and true quadratic formula. This works for every single uh, quadratic equation. It will always work and it is your go-to guy if you can't factor. That's the way I always look at it. So it is worth memorizing. Remember that the B's, the A's, and the C's, they all come from that general form of our quadratic equation and we just simply plug it in and simplify. So we're going to look at one problem. Here is my equation 4x squared equals 2x plus 7. In order to use the quadratic formula, all of my terms have to be on the same side and it has to be set equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 2x and 7. So I'm going to subtract 2x to the right and 7 to the right, uh, to the left, sorry. And I get 4x squared minus 2x minus 7 is equal to 0. This is what I am now going to substitute into or pull from in my quadratic formula. So x is going to be equal to negative b. Now b is a negative 2, so you want to be careful and use parentheses when you're applying this formula. So I have a negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is a <clears throat> negative 2 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 4, times c, which is negative 7. All of that's divided by 2a, which is 4. And all I did, I'll make this a little smaller, all I did was substitute my a's, my b's, and my c's into the quadratic formula, and that's what we're working with right here. Now let's <clears throat> go ahead and simplify what's underneath, uh, simplify this thing. So I have x is equal to negative times a negative 2 is a positive 2, plus or minus the square root of. This whole thing right here, this is going to be negative 2 squared is 4, minus 4 times 4 times a negative 7, and that gives me 116, which you can do on your calculator. All of that's divided by 8, which is in the denominator. Now, 116 is not a perfect square, but it can be simplified, which is what you want to do at this point. Okay, so off to the side, let's talk a little bit about how we simplify the square root of 116. Now, because I'm taking the square root of a number, I'm looking for perfect square factors of this number. And I can easily use my calculator to divide this number by perfect squares. The first perfect square you would choose is 4. 4 is a perfect square. And 116 divided by 4 is 29. So 29 times 4 is 116. And I don't have to go any further than that because I know that 29 is prime. So these are the factors of 116 that I'm interested in because now that I have it kind of written like this, I can think of this as the square root of 29 times the square root of 4. Well, what's the square root of 4? It's 2, and I can't do anything with the square root of 29, so I just simply leave it as the square root of 29. This is the exact uh, answer or the exact simplification of the square root of 116. I'm not interested in decimal answers. This is how I simplify it. All right, so let's go back over here. Let's look at um, kind of cleaning up what we've got over here. x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 square roots of 29, all divided by 8. This I can simplify. It's a little bit easier to see it when it's written in its separate fraction form. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to separate this as 2 eighths plus or minus 2 square roots of 29 over 8. And again, I can take a single fraction and write it as two fractions because how do you add and subtract fractions again? You add or subtract numerators and you keep the denominators the same. So when you take this fraction and separate it, you're just really separating the numerator. 
But what it does is it lets me see that I can reduce this first fraction, because 2 divides into both the numerator and the denominator, and that's going to give me 1 fourth. And I can do the same thing with the second real numbers here. I've got a 2 and an 8. Again, they reduce to be a 1, so that's just the square root of 29 over 4. Now this is one way to represent the answer. I could rewrite it as a single fraction, and that would look like 1 plus or minus the square root of 29, all divided by 4. These are both acceptable forms of the answer. Now, again, like I said, the quadratic formula is useful because it works for all of our quadratic equations that we're going to be solving, so you want to become very familiar with this one.